Oh yeah, that right there looks toasty. Top of the morning to you laddies, my name is The Rental Man Buck and welcome back to the 90s series of FS19. Uh, today we got another big uh, big day of work as I do know that uh, the ice cream box is still at the service shop right now. They haven't really been able to figure out the fuel issue but uh, we are getting our uh, fertilizer out right now in our old, ta our old tanker which again you guys saw in last video we went and picked up from I believe uh, it was Jim's neighbor. Or I can't remember those two guys. I always get them mixed up. But uh, we we started a little bit earlier this morning. We got out here about 6 o'clock, did a few rounds, uh, making sure we were getting the right mixture here. But it's now almost 11 o'clock in the morning, and we need to, in other words, finish filling this up because uh, we just got back from the other side. So we'll keep on keeping on with this hose. Uh, we will probably run. Uh, we'll clean this out over here in the... Uh, like Baywash because I got a hose. We'll spray out the tank over here and then we'll probably load up a load of herbicide as well. Uh, I know it's not necessarily, I, I know herbicides for the crops, but I'm going to say it's kind of like a roundup-ish thing because we need to make sure that we can have the weeds under control for our alfalfa. I don't want that crabgrass growing in there. I also don't want, because I remember someone was saying the other day, uh, up on the north hill where it's one where it's really sloped, they're saying that they're catching some weeds down there and I don't want the runoff of the rain to drag all that stuff down to the lower part and ruin my uh, main field crop because that's literally all I got besides the big new flat field over here. Uh, we will probably be needing to go down to uh, the Wells Fargo and possibly work up a, a loan because I'm going to possibly be looking into getting that new swather. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with that, but I know I only got 10 grand right now to work with, but that's why I said we can make uh, the investment of uh, selling off our haybine and... Uh, possibly getting the small loan because I could, I could probably get maybe uh, 10, 20, I probably could get m maybe 3,000, 5,000 out of that rake. I'm not too sure what I can do with that. I'll have to ask the investors there because I've, I've been using that thing for years and it's got some problems with it. But we'll probably tune it up and see if we can't get it uh, ma maximum selling quality. But So we're going to be rocking here with old Deborah. That's why I decided to name... Uh, the Moline, Deborah the Moline. I have ice cream box. I have the ice cream box farm all. Deborah the Moline, and I haven't thought of a name for the Ford yet. Frank the Ford. There we go. So, as you can also see, we already got one round of fertilizer on here. We just kind of uh, luckily ran out right at the last second, but we'll get our booms out here, and we will just uh, you know uh, we'll start applying our basic layer of fertilizer. And we do have this uh, spray rate set to a fairly low where it's just kind of a, it's almost a really light coating. Now obviously it doesn't really look like that, but uh, it's really nice that I'm able to, I, uh, it, it's, it's spray rate's not really as bad. It's not dumping out like 600 gallons every second. Like I know some people have been having troubles with, but we got this thing set to a very nice spray rate. So that way we can get as much as we can out of this field because we don't necessarily need a lot because some of the seed that was planted here already was fertilized. But we're just going to keep on spraying because we got to get to our herbicide today as well as the bank because it is, I believe, Thursday or Friday. I'd have to take a look at the newspaper I saw this morning. I can't remember. But I, I got to get to my uh, main, my main uh, loan guy so I could possibly discuss that loan to get the swather because I really want to do that but uh, apparently Grant's going to be having a party over at his place I don't know why I guess that I guess summertime almost and he has like literally nothing to do I'm over here like I gotta get this stuff done but apparently he's got nothing to do so he wants to throw a party out there this weekend I think it's I think it's either today or tomorrow I'm not too sure but uh, the entire gang is going to be there everybody uh, will have some fun not too sure. I hope it doesn't get too crazy, but I don't know. It's just it's kind of it's kind of fun. Uh, we're missing a little spot there, but like I said, we're just really getting a real light coating on this. As I, I'd prefer to get the most amount of yield for the many as many bales as I can get, because again, I'm still in the hole from the cattle operation. Want to make myself some money back, but I'll finish up this field, and you guys can uh, just enjoy the old Minneapolis out doing our chores. And I'll catch you in a second.
we're just gonna check right back in right now as I'm just kind of finishing up here with it. I probably got about three swipes left if I would guess. But what needs to happen is after this I'm going to uh, probably only do the outside edge of that field because of the fact that uh, all that stuff was still planted for the past however many years. It doesn't necessarily need the fertilizer right now because I already have uh, uh, whatever it was in it, the, the seed and everything, it's, it's all pollinated wherever it was. Uh, it's just been there, so this is all just freshly tilled ground with the actual alfalfa being planted in it, so I just want to make sure that this stuff stays in uh, proper condition. Uh, as you can see right there, we already have some weeds, so if anything, we need to get our uh, herbicide out here like now. So once we get this done, we'll take the uh, tank over to the other side quick. We'll spray that area and then we will uh, get our herbicide ready to go and we'll get uh, the small areas like that just to make sure that we are prepped for any sort of weedage. Uh, I really don't want to take a weeder through here as that would just be a pain in the butt because I obviously don't even have the money for a weeder. If anything else, I might as well just become the weeder myself and just run out here and just start pulling weeds, but I'm not doing that when I can drive uh, this thing over with it uh, to kill the weeds, to do all that stuff. Just kind of, I want it to be a good crop, but I also want, I want it to be a good yield for the, the grass. So we're, uh, yeah, we got about one and a half-ish passes left. So let's turn this sucker around for the final spin, which I probably should have waited a second because now I'm just dumping excess fertilizer on the ground. There we go. Yep, we'll have about half a pass left once we get done with this. So I'll catch you guys once we get over to the other field. As we're chugging along up here we're coming up on some patches if you guys kind of see uh, there's some behind me and there's this one in front of me I'm gonna take a look at here uh, right now we're dealing again like I said with some crabgrass issues along with the weedage this one's not bad on the weeds yet but we'll shut this off here quick so I'm gonna show you guys this uh, we already got some patches of this and this stuff's already gonna be technically full grown so uh, it's gonna be harder to kill so most likely it's just gonna stay there but these little patches is better than uh, like what it is over here. We actually ripped this out and placed down some grass seeding as well and it's already come up. Uh, but this stuff is pretty much all weedage grass. Not even really. It's bale quality but it's not. It's it, There's so much crud in there that we don't necessarily need right now. So we laid down this extra roll of uh, just regular grass strip so that way we have a chance to uh, get, if we need to go over a little bit with the swather we're not pulling in a bunch of junk. But over here, it's just again, we just want to make sure we get as, the best crop that we possibly can when it comes to this stuff. So we're going to get right back into the spring. And that's just kind of something I wanted to show you guys is that's what we're technically uh, preparing to stop here. And make ourselves a U-turn. Uh, we are running a little bit low on fluid, but I think what we're going to do is... Uh, finish off this little triangle area. We'll cut this off and then we're gonna do one last swipe going up the side of that hill and then back down towards the house because of we'll just pretty much go until we run out. 
So I want to get this area first, and then that hillside, uh, it just tapers in closer to the road as I go, because I didn't want to go up the hill the first couple years. And now I got it up the hill because of the fact that uh, I got some, I'm possibly going to be getting equipment that it's more stable with. But yeah, we'll just kind of, like I said, we'll keep going. We got about 60-ish gallons left in the tank, and we'll be able to uh, get the rest of this stuff done, because it'll be nice to be caught up on it. I know dumping fertilizer on crabgrass right now is not my best option, but we're going to come right back in here with the herbicide or Roundup, whatever you want to call it, and we'll get that uh, spray mixture on here, and that should uh, help get the weed control under control as well as get our crabgrass taken care of, or at least isolate it to where it still stays where it's at. Well, I might also have to call up Jake, says I heard that he was out here uh, taking some of those uh, tanks around with the actual herbicide and fertilizer in it. Now, my tanks are technically fine, but I think I'm running low on the herbicide part of it, uh, just for the weed control, so we'll fill it up as much as we can with that. We got, uh, we're just going to run out about right here, but I believe we got majority of the part that was all new grass that we planted, so we'll just let this run out and let's see if we can get the sprayer nozzles to... Uh, show clear and there we go so we are now empty of fertilizer so what we'll do now is we'll go back over to the other side of the house uh, we'll wash out the tank get everything ready to go might as well rinse off the moline while we're at it uh, and then we will fill up the tank with the herbicide and we'll go and do the same thing again but kind of the same areas but in some parts of the other field we'll get kind of in those uh, run runoff areas especially so that way we can prevent the wash of fluid coming down from there but we'll back up here to the herbicide tank after we wash out the trailer because I literally just about pulled a big no-no and we will be ready to go a few moments later we'll just make sure we get inside the tank here get both the wall get all the walls get all that stuff to run out nasty we open up the drain plug on the bottom to make sure we get all this crud out. There we go. Now we're doing good. We'll just finish off here rinsing off the rest of the Moline. My seat's going to be a little bit wet, but we'll be fine. And there we go. So we are ready to go. Let's back this up to the herbicide tank, and we should be set. Now, like I said, I know that that tank's it's full, but it, I, I don't necessarily know how much is left in it because I don't necessarily have a gauge on the side of the tank, which I might need to go down into TSC and go get one. But uh, we're just going to hopefully we have enough. I think that I, if I'm correct, we might have just enough to literally do at least one field. But I'm not sure about all the parts I want to do on the second one. We'll just see what we have to work with here. And uh oh, we only got about 360-ish gallons. I was hoping we could get at least 400, but I, I guess we'll have to deal with that. I'll have to call up Jake and see if he can't bring out a load of herbicide. Maybe if we need a little bit more. But like I said, we're gonna get this field done first because this is our big dog now. He's going to need the most weed control because he's literally all old crabgrass ground or just that nasty grass that I didn't really want to do anything with. We'll get the booms unloaded here and we shall get cooking away. Well, I did notice that the tank, I'm going to apply this stuff a little bit heavier uh, on the main field area. Now, I know I'm missing a bit. I know I'm missing quite a bit right now when it comes to the edge, but 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of, you know, scatter the field with this stuff. So that way it's not, uh, whatever it was, the areas that I put a little bit more hefty on. Uh, say it come, rain comes in. Because this is in more of a valley, the wash-off can kind of get it to the rest of the area. I'm not wanting the hillsides especially to get, like, the runoff. But we'll let some of the chemical uh, get its uh, work in when it comes to uh, killing off all the... Uh, weeding and all that stuff, but this is the main spot. I want to see if we can't get these weeds killed. Uh, it's, it's, it's something that I don't want to have happen because of the fact the weeds will kill the uh, actual value of the crop. But we'll see if we can't just snag this stuff in the first line and we'll see if it starts doing anything. I'm on you. Yes! Okay. Let's just check and see what it did here. Oh yeah, that right there looks toasty. Well, that's good. So what we'll do is again, like I said, we'll just kind of uh, get this stuff. We'll do one last pass, probably. We'll do one more loop, and then we'll go over to the other side, do that, and then we should call it good for the herbicide. Um, and I'll catch you guys once we get that. So, as it says right now, we are sitting at about 14 gallons. I'm just kind of finishing up on this little corner. We honestly had just enough to finish off the rest of our field. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're, I'm just kind of guessing where I'm at now because I honestly don't know. We're going to do the last pass probably going up here. Got about seven gallons left. I'll call up Jake here probably uh, this afternoon maybe. Uh, possibly chat with him because I think he said he got stuck out at Stevio's last time I talked to him on the landline but uh, When he's able to possibly bring out those tanks, I'd love to do that and we just ran out of herbicide So we'll take this again over to uh, the sprayer we will definitely have to wash this stuff out because It'll cause some issues if we don't get this stuff out of the trailer. I uh, don't want that to build up in there but we'll get this back to uh, the spot we'll get this back to wash it out park it uh, get everything else ready, and then we're going to take the 150 down to Wells Fargo. We're going to talk to the banker about possibly uh, getting our loan for a different swather because I want to get rid of my hay rake. And then we'll probably call that good as this has been, a, again, just another busy day on the farm. If anything, next, uh, next uh, video we might uh, go and go get our farm all, hopefully, if the guy calls us back, as well as pick up our new uh, swather. And just kind of, you know... Keeping on, keeping on. Well, in all honesty, we can just technically leave it here because of the fact that we don't. We might use the Moline or later today. Uh, obviously, with just some extra farm stuff that you guys don't necessarily need to watch. But we're gonna take our 150 here. We're gonna go down to uh, the bank across town. We have a bank over in Iowa. I mean, I like the bank that we have in town here, but their rates are just absolutely st stupid high. So we're going to head over to Wells Fargo, get that all taken care of. I'll show you guys once we get down there what we're looking into. I actually have the uh, picture of it. So we'll get that, we'll get down to the bank and then we'll let you guys know from there. I do appreciate you all coming out here to uh, watch this said 90s video as I know I'm kind of like, I focus on one series a little bit too much once I get back into one of them, or if I start one up. So I'm going to see if I can't get it a little bit uh, mixed up, mixed matched, whatever you want to call it, when it comes to the diversity of what I'm putting out. Uh, I just I just really like sometimes going to, say, doing all this, but we're going to park across the street because I don't think these guys, they have a parking lot, don't they? They have to. Yeah, they do. Okay. So, yeah, I was just saying that as much as I like to do, like, the landscape or farming back to Nebraska, the dealership, it's that, 
But right now, the 90s, it's just hard to not do them because they're so much fun. And that's what kind of what happened with the other series. It's like I, I just got back into the 90s after finally not doing anything for so long. And now I got the chance to play uh, all this stuff again, even with these new vehicles. Like, I want to get this truck for every single series that I have, but that's not fun. Nobody wants to see the same thing over and over again. So I got to try and mix it up. And obviously throwing around the same series of content is not going to be good. But let's get in here and we'll talk turkey with the business. Yeah, thanks for coming in to see me, Daryl. Uh, I'm just kind of sitting here and I'm, I'm trying to look into possibly investing in a new uh, Swather. Those, one of those self-driven. It's not a new one, but it's still newer to me because it's an enclosed cab self-driven one. Uh, I got the picture and the prices here. It's, it's a really old, funky one I was looking at in the papers the other day. I can't recall... Uh, the, I can't, I can never say the brand of this thing, but it's an old fashioned, really old fashioned one. I'm looking at it. I think it's going to be, uh, it looks, it, this is the picture of it. It's a, it, it's a fairly hefty chunk of, for a, of money for it, but the guy's selling it for about, I don't know, 60 ish grand because it's not too old, but it's still really good condition. I'm I'm looking into possibly selling off my haybine for it. He does have the uh, the 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 disc in the front of it, and I I really want to get this thing because of the fact that uh, if anything, it actually helps me a little bit because I believe it does have a trailer hitch in the back, so it'll help me with my stuff around the farm if I need to move something. Because two out of my two out of my uh, whatever track is like half my fleet does not have cabs in it. So when it comes to bad weather. I'm I'm technically hosed in half my equipment, and one of them that has a cab is actually out right now because it doesn't it doesn't run. It it runs, but it's having fuel issues. So I don't know what you want to do with this. If we want to work out some investment loan deal, like if we want to work out a loan deal here, so that way we can get some financing. Because I really really want to use this thing, but I, I that's kind of all up to the finances if I'm even able to. Now I haven't really made any really big purchases within the last couple of years, actually. Uh, the last thing I really did that was a big, uh, big chunk was the 150 that I drove out today. That was an 11 grand purchase, and I did buy a, a new. A, now again, I just kind of went over there cash this time, but we went and bought a uh, older fashioned sprayer for one of my neighbors for about 300 bucks. So again, it's it's all up to the whatever it was if I'm able to finance this thing because I would really, really enjoy to get this thing, but uh, I'll appreciate if you can get back to me on this one because I really would like that. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Daryl, as I will uh, just keep me up in contact if you guys get the financing figured out for that, if I'm able to do anything with it. Um, I'll catch you later, possibly see you at the donut shop, and I don't know. I'll see you later, bud. Thank you. So we just got done talking finances with Daryl. He said he'll let us know. Uh, he says that we look like our credit should be really, really good. For this purchase because again I mean the only big things that we purchased in the last couple years is this uh, the last uh, when we bought this truck it was 11 grand so it was already used so we do we don't have to pay two minutes tax on this because it's already a six-year-old vehicle versus a uh, ten-year-old versus a one-year-old vehicle or brand new but he said that we should be in probably pretty good shape the last other and we've been able to write things off because of uh, the farm use that we were using them for. That old Ford that we bought at the auction, I can't recall what we'd have to, i have to go check back with Grant, because I think he has actual footage of when we were fighting over it or something. And I'll just have to see what the uh, they let me know, because I really want to get that swather, so that way I can do something that's self-driven, but also have just another vehicle that uh, has an enclosed cab. But we're going to get back to the farm, and I'm glad that we kind of got all that stuff settled up. We just just for the prepping of keeping things down, I mean, we're already under nine grand when it comes to our actual uh, debit, when it, when it comes to our checking. Uh, we want to keep that as the best we can. we got to make sure we start selling some bales to get some money back. That'll help with the cost of the equipment. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all so much for checking this one out. As uh, it was, it's been a blast recording the 90s. I don't necessarily know what's going to be up next because I already have like six or seven videos technically ready to edit and be able to put out, uh, which is a variety of different ones. Some of them are World of Tanks, some of them are FS uh, 90s, and some of them are... Uh, I, I, I don't really have any landscaping series stuff, which is what kind of makes me mad because like, I really want to do one of those, 
but I also want to get out my other content from my other games because, again, I just have them stockpiled now. So, uh, just stay with me. I'm going to try and do the best videos that I can, but be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You already know who is in it. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below, click the little bell if you want to watch more of my videos, as now I believe I'm going to get behind in all my videos, because now I got too many to, in other words, edit myself. But, like I said, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Randall Man out. Peace.